So it is trying to fetch data from internal system to solve the slab, change the stock check URL to access the admin interface at this particular location and delete the user Carlos. So let's access the lab and let's also save this. All right, let's click on view details. And here there is a stock check feature. So let's click on this and you have a response which shows 84 units. So let's go to Burp and as you can see, this is the post request that we have sent. Okay. And uh, when I send it to repeater, this is the URL that is being interacted with the server. So let's hover over it. And as you can see, HTTP stock dot we like to shop dot net. And in the port 8080, we have a product stock stock checker, something like that. And here let's right click and uh, convert selection URL URL decode. So you can decode from here as well. Or a shortcut is also here. Control shift and U. You can also do that. So here you have this URL. You can completely remove this. And uh, since we need to check in the local host itself, as per the lab, we need to check in the internal system. Okay, so we need to check in the local host. So let's give a local host here and uh, HTTP colon slash slash local host. So let's send it and let's see what happens. So we are getting a 200 OK response. Let's see here. Let's render this. And as you can see, this local host is giving an admin panel over here. Interesting, right? So what does it mean? Here we are not getting admin panel, but when we are using a local host here, we are getting an admin panel. So what does it mean? So it means that when the server is referring to this particular local host, I mean this particular forward slash this location. So server has access to admin panel server or the application, whichever it is, it has access to the admin panel. But when we are trying to access it, we are not getting the admin panel. When we make the server to retrieve this location, okay, server is making this particular request. Okay, we are not making this request. We are making only this request. Server is making this request for us. When the server brings back the response from the internal system, we get admin panel over here. Let's uh, right click, show response in browser, copy, and from here, paste it. And here, as you can see, if you just hover over it, it is forward slash admin at the bottom, as you can see here, bottom left, forward slash admin. So from here, what you can do is you can forward slash admin over here. So send this request. And as you can see, you have access to Carlos here. But if you try to access forward slash admin over here, you will get nothing. So you will not get this. Admin interface only available if logged in as administrator user or if requested from loopback. So this is what you need to understand. So you cannot directly access it, but you can access through this SSRF vulnerability. So let's do the same thing. Show response in browser, copy and paste it over here. And you have these things. So what you need to do, you need to delete the user Carlos, right? If you just hover over it and as you can see at the bottom forward slash delete question mark username equals to Carlos, right? So let's try to forge this request. So as you can see at the bottom, I just hovered over this. So I can see that request as forward slash delete. You delete what question mark username equals to Carlos. So this is the request you need to forge. So you copy this and go back to Burp. And instead of this request, now you are giving this request. This request should delete the Carlos user. So let's send it. This has some 302 redirect. So this request has already deleted the user and it is redirecting to forward slash admin, which means it is redirecting to this location again. Okay. So this admin panel. Since that request already deleted the user, you have this congratulations tab. So if you follow this redirection, you will probably not get the admin panel again. So let's follow this redirection. So as you can see, you did not get the admin panel. 
right i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one